With the NFL draft now less than a month away, Grand Haven native and now former Western Michigan Bronco offensive tackle Dan O'Neill is continuing to prepare for what he hopes will be a chance to earn a job in the National Football League. O'Neill did not allow a single sack during, look at that, those, that video, two years as a starter at Grand Haven High School. He originally went to Michigan after being recruited by that guy Lloyd Carr, but uh, left after one season under Rich Rodriguez and transferred to Western Michigan, where he earned all MAC honors in each of the last two years. In fact, Dan gave up just one sack as the starting left tackle all of last season. The Detroit Lions were one of eight teams that came to watch the Kalamazoo uh, into Kal Kalamazoo recently to check out Dan at Western Michigan's Pro Day. O'Neill bench pressed the standard 225 pounds 26 times, and then the six foot eight, 305 pounder ran a 5440. That's a big man moving. He also had a 26 inch vertical. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I wasn't too upset. Uh, I came out and uh, on the field work, I did all the kind of average of the tackles. Um, as far as the the offensive line drills went, uh, I feel like I did pretty good and it made a good impression on the scouts that were here. And then in the weight room, uh, I also did pretty good, put up more reps than I was hoping to put up, and my weight was right where I wanted it. What do you think about when you're going into this? I mean, they give a little piece of everything of you here, don't they? Yeah. Um, I mean, going into this, you're just thinking, you know, this is probably the most important moment of my life. If I have a good day today, could be making uh, a couple bucks next year. And if I have a bad day, I'll be sitting at home on Sunday just watching some TV instead of playing. So you go into this just thinking you're going to give it all you got, and uh, you do. So what's up next for you then in this process, obviously with the draft still a month or so away? Uh, I'm just going to continue working out. Um, just going to keep working out. Probably just wait around until the draft. Um, teams that uh, want to see a little bit more, you will fly you out to their facilities and you'll put in a little workout for them. And uh, you know, so I'll just spend the month of April uh, doing that if I get any invites and uh, just waiting on my agent to do the rest. <laughs> do you, have you heard anything? I mean, got any feel for what teams to think about you at this point? Or uh, when I was at the East West Shrine game, there were a couple teams. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure they'd rather not. Sure, no, I understand. You know, rather, but uh, a couple teams, some close to home, some far away, and you know, uh, got got some interest. So, what's your expectations? Uh, at least get a shot. You know, I'm hoping to. I mean, go in one of the lower rounds, uh, you know, undrafted maybe, just as a free agent. But I'm hoping to make it into a camp and eventually. Uh, stick a spot on that 53-man roster. As I said, doesn't seem that long ago we were shooting games with you in Grand Haven, or uh, you yeah. know when you when you had your signing day. Has it gone by that fast to you? I mean, now that I look back at it, yeah, it's gone super fast. But while it was going, uh, you know, out there <laughs> running hundreds in the 100-degree heat. <laughs> It certainly wasn't going fast then, but it is now. Talk about your experience here. Obviously, I know you went to Michigan in a, at an odd time to come here. How valuable this has been and how this has worked out for you being here at Western? I mean, I love it. Uh, family went here. My brother played for a couple of years. Uh, Potter, John Potter, one of my good friends from high school, also played here. And then Phil Swanson, another good friend from high school. So I came in here, and I had the uh, kind of familial bond sure. uh, that you look for in a team. and. That really helped me out and had me, you know, helped me excel my career here. And I'm glad I transferred. People who watched you much closer than I did, or even us who watched you, you know, occasionally, obviously you had a really, really good season this past year. Did you feel that way about yourself? And what was it that. I mean, know, I think, I think, uh, I mean, even if you have a good season, you're always going to be on yourself to uh, improve. And, you know, while everybody else might think I had to. Uh, I mean, I did, I did get the first team on Mac by, you know, a couple publications. And so, I mean, that, that tells you that the, how the public perceives you. But as an athlete, you're always striving to get better yourself. And uh, I, I gave up one sack this year. I was hoping to give up zero, you know, my senior <laughs> season, have a little. But, I mean, what can you do? You, all you can do is just work hard in the offseason and get better. So. What will you do come uh, draft time? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll probably just be at home, uh, hanging out with the family. Uh, you, know, you know, playing some cards with my brother or something like that, uh, <laughs> reading a book, just relaxing. I'll just be relaxing until I, I'll probably give a couple workouts here and there, but uh, on draft day, I'll just be sitting around waiting on my agent's call. Have you, has it been a dream of yours to play in the NFL for a long time? Uh, for as long as, you know, I've been playing football since I uh, realized what it was. I think back in sixth grade, I've been wanted, you know, to do it. And now that I have my opportunity, I'm not going to let anything get in my way. 
you know, especially not myself.